<clears throat> shalom, shalom. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect. All right. Um, this is why you Christians just need not to speak on the Bible, period, anymore. All right. Now, I was watching this, uh, why well, I came across this live, you know, they be having lives on these different platforms. This platform was TikTok. And, um, hang on just a second. Hello? Your paperwork's ready? All right. Thank you. Uh, they were having these, you know, on these on this platform, they have, uh, you know, as you can see, Bible discussion questions. And I'd be so tempted to just pop up in there, but I'd be like, you know what, nah, just sit back. And I just, you know, I recorded it with my iPad just for the content, all right, and um, to bring edification to the hopeful elect. Because the Christians don't have it. You do not have it. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is not dealing with you. And you Jakes, as this Jake, as you see on the uh, screen, you better repent. The time is getting very short, man. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is not messing around with you Jakes no more. You're totally mangling the scriptures. And then the, 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 the brother that's on there with him, that tapped into his feed that he brought on, you can tell he knows he's Israel, all right? But he's a little timid with his questions and how he's answering, man, okay? So I'm going to just play this real quick. And this won't be long. I got to go in here and get this paperwork now. So let me play this. Um, two nations came from those, from those two individuals, but they were the same, mm -hmm. they were the same color. One was just going to be the Israelites. And one was going to be the Edomite, uh, Edomite. So he's saying the, the Edomites and the Israelites came from the same parents. And they were the same color. Just so you know what he just said. I mean, this is so simple. But that shows you they have no idea. All right? Christians need not pick up the Bible. You need to uh, put the Bible down and start listening to the Israelites and learning from the Israelites. Put your understanding of what you learned in Christian church, whatever denomination, and start learning from the true prophets of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, beginning with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. That's the best thing you can do. Because this type of uh, understanding of the Bible is going to get your ass put to death out here. All right? I'm going to just say it straight. Not having a proper understanding of the Bible will get you put to death. Okay? Peter told Yahweh Shai, For whither shall we go? For thou hast the words of eternal life. Alright? Scriptures also say, uh, Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life. So you gotta have it correct. Now you just heard them, uh, Jacob and uh, Esau, Looked the same. They had the same color because they came out of the same parents. But they were the same mm -hmm. color. Two nations of people. So a lot of people say that they're two different colors. But if I was Abraham, I mean, if I was uh, Jacob and I saw my son and he looked nothing like me or my wife, I'll be confused. Jacob was confused. That's why he said what he said. That's why he named Esau. Just real quick. Right, you Christians need to put the Bible down, man. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Genesis chapter, uh, Genesis chapter 25, and um, we're gonna start at 23. Key point is the 25th verse, okay? 
It says, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people, two different manner of people, shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like in heavy garment, and they called his name Esau or Aishashua. All right. Now let's look up this word. It, it, it said he came out red, so he wasn't brown skin. You Christians just be saying shit, man. And they called his name Esau. Let's get the definition of Esau. Which that's not what Esau means. Esau does not mean hairy. All right. Shayar in the Hebrew is hairy. Where they dwelt in Mount Seir. That's where you get the word Shayar, which is hair or hairy. Okay. Esau does not mean uh, uh, hairy. Okay. Let's see if they got the real answer in here. That's wrong. Harry, rough, that's wrong. Esau, the son of Isaac, twin brother of Jacob, called Adawam, not Adam. See, they be, they left out the wum between the da and the ma. It's supposed to be a wum there, okay? Because Adam or Adama, that's Adam, which means the ground, okay? That's not their name. Their name is Adawam, which is Edom, which is red, means red, okay? It says, which is, however, more used with regard to his poster posterity than of the man himself. On the other hand, um, yeah, see, Esau, ain't he playing games. He ain't giving you the proper answer. The proper answer for the word Esau is wasted away okay that's the proper answer and what was wasted away his pigmentation was wasted from his from his flesh that's why when he came out his father isaac said i shashua all right meaning he was wasted away he had no pigment he didn't say hairy or rough because the scriptures tell you all over like a hairy garment all right because babies don't come out with hair all over their body like that man he was he was red all over like a hairy garment meaning his 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 blood showed forth through his pigment and that's why he was named Esau or Aishashua all right in the Hebrew Esau up here taking definitions down man but um yeah, because it doesn't mean uh hair. Matter of fact, let me prove that. Let's go, let's let's look up the word seer. Okay. See what they say there. Okay. Mount Seir, alright, is where Edom dwelt. Genesis 32 and 3. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir. The country of Edom. Now let's look and see what this says. See if Esau messed it up. Because Seir or Shayar is hair. Alright. Let's see if Esau got it all messed up. See there you go. It doesn't. It show you that this man is the devil man. He's changing things up. Shayar. That's the Hebrew word. And it means hairy or shaggy. All right. That's his name. Or well, that was the the, uh, the land he dwelt in. Mount Seir or Mount Mount Harry. All right. So I'm going to end it there. I just wanted to do that quick little video through the spirit. Call Allah, Yahweh, Shimei, Shai. On to the next one. Shalom.